So let's just recap a little bit. The Philistines have invaded Israel. Saul and the army of Israel gather in a camp across the valley from the Philistines. For 40 days, a Philistine champion named Goliath taunts the army of Israel. Verse 10, I defy the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. Goliath not only mocked the army of Israel, but he mocked the God of Israel and cursed God by the Canaanite gods. Verse 11, when Saul and all Israel heard these words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. You see, behind the words of Goliath were demonic powers creating fear and intimidating God's people. This coronavirus giant that has taunted the world, yes, it's a real virus, I make no mistake about it. Sadly, many have died from it. We're not, we're not minimizing that at all. But behind it is, is a voice of fear. There are, are demonic powers, if you will, that are taunting, even if, if, they, if they can, the people of God, to make us fearful, to make us afraid even to leave our homes, to make us afraid to do what God's asked us to do. Again, as I shared last week, there are proper measures we need to take and, and all of those kind of things. But there is, is an unhealthy fear that has gripped many because of the taunts of an enemy and the demonic powers behind it. The coronavirus, again, it's a real virus, a real threat. But the enemy is also using it to cripple humanity with extreme fear. You see, Saul and the men of Israel, the army of Israel, they were dismayed. They were greatly afraid. As I shared last week, again, legitimate caution and practice regarding the virus is warranted. But as God's people, we need to remain focused upon the Lord and His promises, promises to confidently face the giant and not be dismayed and greatly afraid. Mm-hmm. 